Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, Julie is going to be sharing with you her top five favorite special effect nail powders. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the video. Before we get started with the effect powders, you first want to use a black gel polish. You can use this over a regular polish, but they work best over gel polish with a no wipe top coat. If you do prefer to use regular nail lacquer with effect powders, you just have to wait until your top coat is tacky and then carefully rub it on and then seal it with a water-based top coat but you will get the best effect if you use a no wipe top coat gel over gel polish. So here I did two coats of that black gel polish, curing in between, and then I topped that with a no wipe top coat gel and then cured it. The first effect powder I highly recommend is a holographic chrome powder. Of course, the most popular of all effect powders, and rightfully so, it's beautiful. This one is from What's Up Nails. I really like it because it goes on very smoothly and I get a really, really strong holographic effect from it. But there are tons of different holographic powders out there from different brands. There are several ways to apply this powder. My preferred method is to just use an eyeshadow applicator and buff a small amount of that into the nail. And the more you buff, the stronger that holographic effect is going to come through. To preserve that beautiful rainbow, you have to lock it in with a generous layer of gel top coat and cure. If you're doing this with regular lacquer, you wanna make sure to use a water-based top coat. The next effect powder I'm going to share is this beautiful one called Paradise Powder from, again, What's Up Nails, and it is a duochrome, almost beetle-like effect. It is so cool, and every time I put it on, I always forget how amazing it is. It shifts from blue to purple to a golden color, depending on the light you're in and how you move your hand. And the formula of this is pretty much identical to the holographic powder. It is just a powder, so you use a small amount of it and buff it into to your nail. Again, to preserve that beautiful effect, lock in your powder with a generous layer of top coat gel and then cure. And look how gorgeous this is, you guys. And these come in tons of different colors. This next product isn't exactly a powder. It is a bunch of holographic flaky bits inside of a holographic chrome powder. And it is super unique to say the least. This came out a while ago, but it is still such a cool product that I love to use it for special occasions. There are several ways you can apply this glitter pigment. My preferred way is to use a sticky layer and I'm using the sticky layer after I cured my gel polish and I'm just tapping this pigment on. And once I have it smooth and flattened down, I actually go back over it and buff it out and that pulls that holographic chrome through and you get the strongest, most opaque effect. You can also apply this over top of your no wipe top coat as you would with a regular powder and you'll get a much more sparse, speckled look. And even though this isn't completely a holographic powder, you still need to use that special no wipe top coat to make sure that holographic effect stays in place. Next up, we have a rose gold chrome effect powder. And if you do not have this in your collection yet, I highly recommend it. It works great on its own, but it's also really fun to play around with for nail art. Like I like to do a marble nail design and use gel polish to make some veining in the marble and then apply this over top. And it is so easy, effortless, and looks amazing. To apply this, you use it the same way as you would a chrome powder, but because it is more just chrome and there isn't any rainbow effect to it, I like to really make sure I get all of those chrome pigments buffed into the nail as much as I can so that it is a nice, smooth, reflective finish. 
And the last powder I wanna share with you is a Chrome Mermaid powder. And from the outside, it doesn't look too special, but when you apply it over the nail, it really comes to life. And for this effect powder, I think it looks the prettiest over a white base. And I like to use a sponge to apply this. I first dab the sponge into the product on the flat side of the sponge, and then I use that flat side to smooth that product over the nail. This one is a lot more subtle than the others, but it is just as beautiful. And when I turn off my filming light, you can actually really see the effect. It's very pearlescent. There's that pink to green slash golden shimmer. And it's just really gorgeous. It's also probably the easiest to come by out of all these effect powders. I got this one off Amazon for around $5 and you can get them from a ton of different sellers and they're pretty much the same product. And those are my top five special effect nail powders. If you'd like to watch more cute polish videos, you can click on these boxes here. And don't forget to click on the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. As always, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye.